All right, you ready for this? Yeah. You ready? Wait, actually, let's wait for him to meow again one more time. He's hungry. He is hungry. Oh, he knocked off the dish. He does this every time now. He knocks off his damn dish. All of a sudden, we'll be like in a room watching a show, right? We're getting into our show, and all of a sudden, we'll hear, we'll hear. Yep, that's, that's the, the exact sound. 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 Yep. Yes, it, it. I can still hear it. This is the sound he makes because he wants to be fed. He'll knock his thing down from right here. Come here, come show the people where he knocks oh. it down. He's learned the tricks to knock it down from here to get fed. Feed me! Oh, oh. he's pissed. Yeah. He acts like he's starving or something. He does. Oh wait, we have to start rushing out, Merlin. No, he's not playing. We don't got a ration. Even though Coda's had how many treats today? Leave him alone. Coda's not rationing his treats yet. He has plenty of treats to get him through for the next couple months. <laughs> right, Coda? And? And hopefully that Coda, and he has enough treats to last him a couple months, the next like what three months? And hopefully then they'll be stocked at the store. Do you want to tell the people how we concluded um, the mystery of his the chunk he put on the last yeah. couple of weeks? Donna was babysitting. And <laughs> Donna, huh? And Between Desiree, Donna and Desiree, I'm sure they spoiled him. You gained a lot of weight, huh? <laughs> you got too many treats. He's actually bigger than Merlin now, and that's like a weird, rare occurrence. That's saying, hey, that's saying something. <laughs> it really is. With this one. <laughs> did you miss us? We missed you. We did miss him. Alright, what do you want to do today? I want to, since we didn't get to have our Friday the 13th night, I want to maybe watch a scary movie somewhere. Maybe Contagion or Quarantine. Yeah, let's not watch those. Or, <laughs> or The Walking Dead. We could watch The Walking Dead. Hey guys, um, sorry to interrupt this, this vlog, but um, I just wanted to let you know that the project I've been working really, really hard on this year called Fairy Boy. It's actually a graphic novel, a comic, and I've been posting on our Instagram page for the last couple months. Um, it's actually, we're trying to get it to print in book form. So if there's any way you could help out um, by throwing a couple dollars our way, you can pre-order the book right now. And I'll put the link at the end of this video and also in the description. But um, it would be really awesome to have your support. Uh, I know this is a really crazy time right now. Um, so I don't even know if it's going to happen or not. I'm kind of nervous about it, really, to be honest. But um, thank you guys who have already started supporting it. It means the world that you're supporting our dreams of creating books and comics. And um, thank you so much. All right. Can you my drink, please? Could you oblige? That's not my drink. Yeah. That's not my name. Here you go. This, this whole coronavirus has been out of control. By the way, we wanted to start off and tell you guys that I, in the last video, we had a sore throat in um, Amsterdam at some point. And we, we coughed? We coughed in it. Big mistake. Big mistake. We've Our email has been flooded with people asking us if we have the coronavirus, if we're okay. You guys, we are fine. We are healthy. We are working. Um, working out. Us. We're good. Uh, we were walking in the rain in Amsterdam the last like two days. We got caught in a storm and it wasn't supposed to rain. We didn't have umbrellas or sweaters and we were walking in the rain for like 45 minutes and we got a little cold from it. Uh, but we're fine. We're totally fine. Uh, but it, we came back to uh, we came back to America and it was just like <sighs> what, happened? what happened to the world. Um, but we hope everyone out there is okay and safe and um, if any of you guys that have it or know someone that have it We, we our thoughts and um, prayers are for you guys on a lighter note Amsterdam was amazing you guys It was awesome. We had so much fun uh, It was honestly like walking right into uh, a work of art and we had a blast with Darren and Jason It was the first so time we went fun. on um, vacation with friends actually and it was it was so much fun. We um, they were like the perfect travel companions because they like to do 
everything like us. They like to go see cool like museums or go see like fun architecture and stuff. And they also like to party at night. So like the perfect combination. Yeah. Exactly what we like to do too. It was awesome. We all had a really good time together and um, we're really looking forward to doing it again. Hopefully yeah. it's like an annual thing. I think yeah. you're gonna come to visit Memorial Day weekend, but we'll see with the, you know, on the account of Corona. They brought up again. I know, I it's brought so it up hard again. because it's like you're every, like, it is. you guys. It is, It's everyday life. It's Yesterday, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna, it's gonna be the first day that I don't look up Corona. I don't wanna know anything <laughs> about it. I don't wanna, Good luck. I don't wanna be, I'm not gonna listen to anything. That day I go to work, conference call about Corona. And it was all about the coronavirus. And then it yep. was just like, tumbling and then oh that it was friday because that was the day um trump did his speech and blah blah, blah yeah. and it was just like it was just so much and it was like i think at the end of that at the end of the day oh yeah yeah we went grocery shopping but you guys we are good with toilet paper for at least three months so yeah we always yeah. get costco toilet paper though so we're always pretty stocked up we are yes yeah, one thing husband us. husband has is, is toilet, toilet paper, paper. Well, why? Because we need to cover our ass. Literally. But um, what else did we do? It was really, it was awesome. It was. I'm just glad like, to be home. Like Me too. It I hate that like, feeling of being in the plane for seven hours or eight hours and knowing you can't get off and you're like, oh, I just want to be home. Right? You know what? Going to vacation though, when you're on the plane, doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Like, yeah, you can be there seven hours, but you're like, I'm about to go on vacation. I'm going to be in a new country. Yep. It's the one coming back where it's just like, I hate life. I can't be in here. I want to be home. That's what sucks. They need to figure out the time travel. You just telling you. It's not time travel, but they need to do that too. What they need to do is teleportation. Oh, yeah. Time Invest all the trillions of dollars time onto teleportation, make it a new industry, Get all these new jobs on it. Mm -hmm. Done. What about orbing? That's teleportation. Orbing could work. That's, that's totally teleportation. Different. But, that's but different. it's magic. But it's different. Um, we should make our English muffins because I'm hungry. We, you know what? You ready? We sure should. Ah, my leg. Oh. All right. You want to show them our nightly routine? I'm kind of embarrassed to show my freezer right now, though. No, what? It's on account of Corona. On account of the Corona. We stocked up. Well, we need Look this. at that. We're going to eat it. It's not going to go to waste. It is. We always use because, like, we go through meat so fast, though. This is only going to last us, like, a week, actually. And Coda is stocked up on meat. his Frosty Paws. Not really. Chocolate. And he's, you're not getting any more. You're too chunky, Coda. Coda. I know. Oh, I know. You so ain't got one. Look at this. Look at this one. Oh, but he's so excited. Okay, you say no to him. Face. You say no to him. I can't. You say no. I must say no to him. You say no. I can't say don't no. Don't look to him. at him. Don't open oh him. Did you look at him? Don't look at him. Okay, you guys look oh, for us. Did you see his face? Yeah. What did he do? Oh, oh. <laughs> shit. Shit. Come on. Do it. All do right, it. All right. I have to give it to you. Okay, I'll give you this. You can have this top lid part. What the hell do I get? Coda. He's not gonna say hi right now. Coda. Oh, so, so English muffins, right? English muffins. All right, guys. You want to stay healthy? You want to know our tricks of losing weight? It's this is like our dessert at night. Okay, so you take the English muffin, but it has to be this brand because there's no preservatives in, preservatives in it. What's going on over here? I'm trying to get him to eat this, but he doesn't like it that much. He usually loves ice cream. Speaking of eating, you guys want to hear a story? <gasps> <laughs> you know what story I'm gonna say, right? So. Today, uh, for dinner, Aaron met me at work and he brought us food, right? <laughs> and so he, like, we had chicken that we made from home. Aaron goes to buy, like, a, it's like, what do you call them? Like, you're just vegetables, I guess. But from, like, a taco place in the mall. Or a taco place is from a restaurant nearby. They have an option to buy a side of vegetables. They have an option to buy a side of vegetables. So we just do the vegetables and chicken for our diet. But Aaron comes in and he hands me the the box of vegetables and I could see he has a total of three of them and I'm like, and he has salsa too on like two things of salsa. So he gives me one of the salsas and he gives me one of the like little boxes and I'm like, why do you have two? And he was like, oh, there's just more salsa in there. And I'm like, 
I didn't know I don't want more salsa. That's weird, right? Right? Wouldn't you think that's weird? Like he has two boxes and a thing of salsa, and I have a thing of salsa and one box. So I'm like, okay, but I can tell you know this is what happens when you're with someone for a long time. You know when they're lying. So I'm like, I knew something was up, but I was at work, so I was like, I don't have time for this. I can't be bothered. And then he was like, uh, I opened the box up, and he's like, and, and there's a, a taco in it, and I'm like, what? So he had bought himself an extra taco without telling me. We're supposed to be on the diet together. We eat the same exact meals, and he decided, you know what? I'm gonna break the diet, and I'm gonna have myself a little taco. He bought himself a taco. How was it? You didn't even eat the whole thing, did you? It was so good. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> did, you what, did you ever stop to think that maybe I wanted you to find it? Like, <laughs> it's a cry for help? <laughs> I mean, you did hand me the box. No, I gave you three of those boxes. Remember, I was like, no, I was like, oh, just take the top one and everything. And why did the top one have to be that taco? So there you gambled. Three, I did gamble. There were three identical boxes, and I was like, oh, this is the lightest one. It can't be the taco. Tacos are going to be heavy. It had to be the taco. And you know what? After I caught him, he didn't even offer me it, or didn't even offer me a bite. He was just like, he was embarrassed, grabbed his boxes, grabbed his taco, and headed out. Cause you would never eat it. Uh, well, I still you would have. Like, you know what? <laughs> I might have. It looked good. No, you would have never eaten. And it. I was no so way. confused too because I, when I opened the box, there's so many vegetables piled on top of the taco that I couldn't actually see the taco. So I thought when I opened the box that it was just the vegetables. And then Aaron was like, "Shit!" And I was like, I was so confused at first. But yeah. You would have never <laughs> eaten that taco. Tell me. I would. I, I don't know. You wouldn't have. I might have. No, you wouldn't have. It depends how weak I am at that moment in time. No, you're never weak. You're strong, okay? I'm weak. <laughs> oh my, these are already defrosting because you left them out. Honey! I didn't leave them out. You left them out here. You left them out. Right now, you're supposed to. I think it's because the freezer's so packed that it's not freezing all the way. Shit. Well, what are we going to do when we run out? I don't know. There's just about a thousand pieces of meat in there. Yeah, but you know how fast we go through meat right now? How long do we put it one Damn, minute? Coda, how'd the ice cream get all the way down there? <laughs> Coda! Right, Don't mind so us. Okay, so what we do, we have um, those, this, this English muffin is frozen. Well, it should be frozen. What about this English muffin? I love my little English muffin. Uh, my, Mexican muffin? my Mexican muffin. Your English slash Mexican muffin. My English slash Mexican muffin. Yeah, half your half English, half Mexican muffin. Yes, that is a weird combo. What? Not a weird combo. It's just like a unique combo. But you're not just Mexican and English. Okay, right, so you microwave it for about a minute to defrost it. Oh, do you want your sleepy time tea? We forgot the last step. Oh, you I mean, need sleep to sleep. No, it's okay. Though. I probably won't have it because I have truly. That's true. You're going to go into an alcoholic ugh, pass out, aren't you? So next is to cut this, but I have to cut this now because what happened? I don't want to talk about it. No, we have I think I recall a certain story about a taco. You can't talk about what happened with the English muffin? I don't want to talk about it. So... One day, I was minding my own business, getting the sleepy tea time ready. When a certain somebody, I heard a little yelp, like a dog, like, eek! And I came downstairs, and I saw that someone had cut off half of their thumb. It's a bit dramatic, but I've cut myself several times while cutting the English muffin that we oh, so much enjoy at night. So you're not allowed to have them anymore. I'm not allowed to cut the English muffins anymore. You're not allowed to cut them anymore. I'm not. You're not. Speak of dramatic. Look at that guy. What is he doing? I don't know, but he has no business being on top of there. Merlin, get down. You aren't supposed to be on the kitchen table. Merlin? <laughs> Merlin? <laughs> All right, just this once. Ah, it's hot, Jesus. Oh, I thought you cut yourself. Oh, no. Why are you excited? No, I want. <laughs> You were just happy that someone else did it instead of you? Damn. <laughs> Why'd you run over here at the camera like you were excited? <laughs> I thought I had evidence. <laughs> you thought you were going to be like, oh, look who's laughing now. 
What are we gonna um, what are we gonna watch actually? What do we have? I don't Damn, know. Damn, Coda! Did you finish? Okay. Was it good? Alright, I'll clean up your mess. You just do your thing. We always use Justin's almond butter vanilla. Yeah. This is not an advertisement. No, it's this not. Wait, I think we have one that's open. We have like seven right now because of Corona. On the count of Corona? <laughs> On the count of Corona. Oh, don't show my pantry either. Yeah, spread that sh Like peanut butter, which is not peanut butter, it's bomb butter, but it mm -hmm. feels like you're eating peanut butter, and you're also eating like bread, but it's like healthy bread because there's no preservatives in it. So uh, this is the way to do it. Uh, Honey. Yes, Justin, just give it to me. Damn, you had to open another Justin? I did, you know what? I sure did. You know what's better than one Justin? Two. Two Justins. Let's go watch food pop. You wanna grab one? Got it? No, no, no. Can you grab my phone and my iPad and my charger and my... <laughs> I'm holding the camera. I have an important job. Thanks. I just need to charge that to... Oh my God! Look, the Let's family's go, ready. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Okay. Let's go. Ah, oh, crap. Do I have to turn off this light? 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds to wash those hands. So we thought we'd go on a romantic little stroll in the, you know, great outdoors. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on a little walk before I have to go to work later. And Aaron, are you coming with me to work? Love you. Love you too. Mm -hmm. uh, you you know what I'm most boy. excited for? What? You promised. You promised that we're getting ice cream. Ice cream. We are gonna get ice cream. I just hope they're open. Because of the coronavirus. Not because I saw. I want it too! Come back! <laughs> Damn! You mad, huh? Uh, oh, that was a big slam. You're upsetting Koda. <gasps> you broke my friend's picture frame! It's our friend's picture frame, but I feel awful for doing that. Oh my god! Aaron! <laughs> yeah, it was all fun and games, wasn't it? Yeah. And then someone gets hurt. No one got hurt. Let's let's be real. Oh my you broke my picture frame! <laughs> it's our picture frame! Aaron! I'm sorry! God damn it. Are you embarrassed? That's all I caught on camera. Yeah. All of it. I'm very embarrassed. You broke it. Damn it. We can't glue it back together. The, you cannot glue that back together. It'll be a fun story to tell to tell the grand. To tell? We got the proof. We got in a huge fight and I slammed it. <laughs> it broke into three perfectly good pieces though. So we can glue it together. I'm gonna glue it together. That's how it is in the in the show though. There's no glass piece in there. It's just a blank frame. That's actually true. So I fixed it for you. For us. Yeah, okay. I fixed it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's just say you fixed it. Yeah.